Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Eastern uh, uh, Standard Time. There we go. What What are you doing? I don't hear it. Uh, you, do you hear it now? On this side? Are, are you hearing it? Oh, boy. Yeah. Are you getting it? Okay. I just want to make sure you're getting it okay. Yes, so that you can hear it. All right? All right? Is that fine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if you're if you're centered all right, mm -hmm. because I don't think you are, because you're you feel that you have to do that with your foot. Well, so. it hurts when I just have it hanging well, down. What, what? It hurts when I just have it dangling down. No, okay, well, move your cap up because no. because they can't see your face. I don't face. care. They it's can't Friday see your night face. night and I'm tired. They can't see your face. They can't see your yeah. face. They can't see your That's face. It. That pretty little face. Oh, mm. boy. It's Friday night, yeah, and and so you don't give a shit. You don't dress up for my show anymore. Well, I kind of dress down to what I mean. We're wearing the same thing. What? They can't see what I'm wearing uh, under this. I I wear. I look like I'm all dressed up here. I see that. This I is, see this that. This is my costume. Listen, I had a rough week. <laughs> I mean, after I broke the, the the knee and had surgery, and then I fell and had a concussion. Uh huh. This week I lost my wallet. You forgot the other accident. What? When I fell in the street on Broadway. We're talking about me. And my, my wounds were worse than I thought they were. We're talking about me. And I'm in pain. Go ahead. I lost my wallet. Yeah. Well, that's a major thing. It is. Did you take a stupid pill? Look, <laughs> that is to me... There's got to be a way to prevent that. Well, there is. I'm going to buy one of those little things that you clip into your thing, and it's like a sensor. Yeah. Yeah, but those... T t I think we looked and, into well, them. Yeah, they were real problem. big, but now they're making them small. Yeah, but still, would that have told you where it was? Yeah, it has a GPS in it. I thought, I thought that the only thing they were good for is like around the house, if you were looking around the house for it? Well, bottom line, I think my wallet is around the house, even though we've looked everywhere, because I went from the house to Starbucks to the office. And the two places that I went before the office didn't yeah. have it, and I didn't realize it was missing till at lunchtime when I went for my wallet yeah. to go get lunch. But I don't know if there's a tag that, like, for instance, let's say you put it in your wallet. Yeah. All right? And then you lose your wallet. Yeah. That will tell you where it is. It's a GPS. No. Yes. Really? Yes. How much do they cost? About $24. No, you're thinking of the other ones they came out with, and they would only find them if you, if you were within range of your phone. Well, I'll look, I'll look at, the, at the specs again. Yeah, it was that, that, that token thing. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and tiles. They, Tile. That's what they yeah, call it. Yeah, that's what it, it is. Yeah. Mm. Well, no, but there, there's you so know. much for that. Anyway, that was my week. And it's not so much canceling everything. It's getting the new stuff and then having to um, change everything because a lot of my bills are paid directly off the credit card. I also have my office, my business credit card, and 70% of our office is paid off of that credit card you, every you month. You should have a monthly thing you pay to, like a, a insurance of sorts. And if you lose your wallet... You simply call they this have, company. They have a company. And that, they have all your stuff, and they'll d go get the cards for you and Yeah, everything. they do all the legwork. Exactly. Like, like with passports, they have people that do that, Now, too. do they have a service like that? Yeah. And do they have it, like, on a monthly basis? I don't know. I haven't checked it out. Well, will you check it out? Because I'm thinking of emptying out a lot of stuff in my wallet, except for one credit card, my Costco card, which is easily... Yeah, I have to get it in person there because yeah. I have to give them a... Oh, and I don't even have a photograph for identification, so I've been walking around with my passport, and everybody says, oh, don't carry your passport with you. Well, that's my only identification. Yeah, you need it. I need it yeah. until yeah. I get my 
driver's license or my, um, it's the only thing that has a picture. Yeah, I think, well, uh, the, the biggest problem with, with replacing that stuff, replacing it is, a min is, is an annoyance, but it's a minor annoyance compared to the fact that you then got to figure out all the people that you've told to use that card to pay exactly, a bill. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Like I got a notice from AT and T that my 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 payment didn't go through. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I had to deal with that. That's that's yeah. the first. What one. do you do? They just let you write back and give them a new card? No, I went online and I changed my preferences and put the new card on there. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, but having to do that, you know, I made a list of all the cards and people that I have to pay with cards. What I'm beginning to find is the best idea if you can do it on any given site. And, and years ago, Gary hated, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 eBay? The, uh, no, the other one. The, the pa thing, PayPal. PayPal. But now he doesn't hate it as much. As many of my things as I can, I put on PayPal. So they go to PayPal, use my card on PayPal, I mean, it doesn't cost me anything. Yeah. Use my card on PayPal, and if I have to change my card, you can. I can go there and change maybe seventy-five percent of the of the bills that I have every month. Do you have automatic bills from there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Things like my, uh, uh, well, like the 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 uh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, server that we use to put this program out every month that goes right directly to yeah. pay, PayPal. See, I've and, only and used gets. PayPal when I buy stuff on eBay. I've never used it for anything else. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well yeah. I, I just didn't know. That's something. What's that? Oh, I don't know. Ray Renati. Uh, Bluetooth. Oh, Bluetooth, but will connect with everyone else who has these if you lose something. I don't, yeah, well, we'll talk, he, we'll talk call me it. later. Call early because I'm going to bed yeah, early right. and it's it's 10, 12 already, Alex. Should I move over? Should no, 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 we're not opening the phones yet. Now, wait a minute, now hold on a second. So that was my week. Yeah, your week was spent. And then on top of that, she lost a really nice wallet. Well, which, yeah. Which I bought her as a Christmas present, what, a couple of years ago? Yeah, and they stopped making it. And they stopped making it. This is Toomey who, you know, they find something, they should keep making it. No, like my bag. I had to buy the bag from Adrian because she had the last one. Really? So I, I wore that to shreds, and then I finally went out and bought the update, which I don't Toomey like. Toomey makes a great bag. They do. They last forever. But... Uh, she doesn't like her newest. Uh, she doesn't like her newest uh, wallet. wallet because it, it has a gold. It's gold zipper, zipper and it, it's just not my thing. It's not your thing, but you wanted it to me. I didn't want it to me. I just know that that's where my last one came, and I didn't have to walk any other place. Yeah. So I'm thinking of returning it and looking elsewhere. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> well. Anyway, I felt bad for you when you lost. I your, know you. Uh, you're sweet. Yeah. That you know, that was the worst part. I think about it. Oh know. God! It's like, what's going to happen next? But everything, all your identification. Now everything. I have I, I your driver's license. You should check tomorrow. I think my social security card is not in my wallet. I have it here. You um, don't need your social security. You don't need to walk around with that. You need your Medicare and your your you know your health stuff. Yeah, but I could keep that here yeah. until I need to use it. But like mo most stuff of my like my debit card. So they gave me a temporary ATM card, but just for ATM. I thought it was a debit. So I was in a taxi, and I shoved it in, and it wouldn't work. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, let me ask you a question here. Uh, um, when, you, um, uh, when you had to do your Medicare card, was yeah. that easy enough to yeah, get? Yeah, I did it over the phone. You can do it over the phone yeah, or you did it online? No, I did it with a woman. She helped me. And then they're mailing it to you. Yeah. But did they get you a temporary one or anything? No. So what happens if you have to go to the doctor? You go. I mean, do I have a temporary one? No. It's in the mail. It's in the mail. Hmm. Yeah. But well, I have all the other stuff. You know what you don't have? What? Your Metro card. Yes, I do, because that's in a separate place. What? I keep it in that, remember that little thing I bought for you? Yeah. I have that too. And I have that, to find out where that is. Yeah. I just have my Metro card, the key mm -hmm. card for our office, mm -hmm. and a New York identification card, and that's it. That might be, yeah. That might be 
you know, because it, you lose your uh, you lose your metro card. We have senior metro cards. It, Although they're doing it now for everybody. Although they're not senior prices, but they're doing it. You know where you. Oh no, they do it where you can use a card and have it refill itself. But they didn't have that. They didn't have that before. Right, but, but now but, they but do. The, but the senior passes, which are, uh, I think we pay a buck fifty a ride or yeah, something. Yeah, and then like you get that. some freebies every. Yeah. 10 trips or something you get a freebie oh do we who's calling you but ray bernardi keeps writing stuff here why is it making the noise? tile is bluetooth but it will connect with everyone else who has tiles if you lose something and tell you where you lost the wallet or whatever even if you are oh well we'll, we'll yeah ask and you that's later. the tile thing that's the tile yeah thing. we'll find something yeah, but I uh, uh, see. I don't know if there's a GPS one because it takes a little more technology to be able to send out a GPS signal. Hmm. You know, you, you'd have to have some kind of battery in the thing, and it, you know. Anyway, that's my week. Yeah. On top of like the last three months of my life. Well, you know what happened is you you got tripped by this woman, a tourist, a tourist. Uh, who then, of course, I mean, she helped you up. And, well, four of them helped me yeah, up. Yeah, and they were concerned, and then they went on their merry way. And well, Hans came by. They yeah. were going to walk me to my office, but Hans mm -hmm. came by, and he kind of... They didn't me. realize the devastation they left behind. Yeah. To begin with, six weeks of initial wearing the brace. Now another six weeks of wearing the brace when you're out. Because okay. it's healing slow. It's healing, but it's healing slow. Yeah. So that means till the end of February. But she did, they don't realize that maybe uh, uh, half of your year is going to be taken up with recovery from just a minor thing. Well, right. I mean, I'm lucky when I fell on Broadway the other day that I didn't do more damage to myself than I've already yeah. done. Then when I took the fall and fell on my head, yeah. <laughs> that was... Look at this. I mean, this is still a week later. It's all and about I, him, I, ladies and no, gentlemen. No, it's and all I, about I, him. I've still got this here. I don't know if you can see that gazorchness there, but ugh. it's all scabby and... 1017. Terrible. But, I mean, you know, uh, uh, the, f the problem is that when you lose your wallet, you lose... Everything. Your identity. Yeah. You're neutered, right? So, uh... You know, it's it's terrible. It's just terrible. Oh, I, and I feel sorry for you. Oh, they're there. And even Social Security, I couldn't get a card because I didn't have a driver's license. We can't reason. see your eyes. It looks terrible. I don't terrible. care. I don't it, care. Well, we do care. Well, I don't. So you want to argue about that? Then I'll go to sleep now. I'll move the camera so it's no. right in your face. Don't, don't, don't yell at me. I'm not yelling You're at you. Yelling it's been a me. hard week for me. Be nice. Well, it's been a hard week for me, too. It's all about you. Because the foot has been killing me. Oh. Well, I, I cut my foot when I fell because somehow inside Alex my shoe, it, boo -boo. it went, it went, some, get my did violin. something. It did something and it cracked the, the flesh in, in the heel and then it's healing very slowly because it's down there in my foot. You know the worst, the, uh, 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 uh thing I ever had was when I burned my penis oh you told me that yeah I, yeah, I was barbecuing <laughs> in the in my oven he got confused with and, the hot dogs and I was naked and I think I had just been jerking off and had a heart on and I went to turn the ribs over and I pulled the thing out and it hit the penis and I <laughs> went oh boy <laughs> Did you have a blister the, it took three months to heal wow because it, it, the problem is and the same problem with what I have on this heel when things are not exposed to the air, okay, they have a harder time healing. And especially if then you are always using the heel and walking on it, it, it takes a while sure. for it to, to, to get better. Yeah. Uh, in the case of the penis, it's in your pants, which is a hothouse, <laughs> okay? So it has much more, even if you get somewhat of a scab on it, mm -hmm. it then, while you're sleeping, the heat and everything, it comes off. One night I was sleeping on my stomach. Everybody, uh, turn off your uh, your computers if uh, or this show if you don't want to hear the next part of this. I was sleeping on my stomach and it adhered to the linen. The scab? The scab. <laughs> and in the middle of the night, I rolled over Ooh, and, it and off. I, I bled like a stuck pig. <laughs> but that penis was out of commission for about... 
three months. Wow. You know, uh, and for a guy who was in his sexual prime, this was, and and had a, quite a few girlfriends. This was uh, not a good thing. How old were you? I was in my forties. Yeah, yeah, but I burnt my penis. <laughs> I haven't done that. Well, no, no. I'm just saying. Well, no, you, you you know, if you could, if you did burn your penis, uh, you'd be a freak of nature. That's true. Yeah. I, w- I was right, going by. I was going 20. behind. I was it's going, 10, 20. I've got a problem here. I've got so many things plugged in down here. I don't know what's plugged in and actually terminates anywhere. Well, you can and what isn't plugged in. So bunch them together. No, so and I'm going to have to go in here in about a week when I decide to put that new computer in Just here. Just don't do anything down there. You ruined me. No, I mean, two I'm, hours I spent no, on that today. Everything from that point onward isn't get touched. Uh, None of the stuff I put on the computer got saved. Nothing. Well, that's not that's not my fault. Well, you, you didn't tell me you were going on the computer. I it saved itself. I sat there as it saved itself, but the file that it saved wasn't workable. Whatever that means. Well, anyway, so you got to redo it. All yeah. Right. But anyway, the point I'm making 1021. is, I have to pull out all the electrical here, and and re put it in because I've got. You know, uh, power strips after power strip after power strip down here. I don't think people want to hear that. And then I've got to rewire the whole thing. Does anyone really care? So that all the, uh, I've got to find enough plugs opening up, openings for plugs and shit like that. It's terrible what I'm going to have to do. Okay. I may, I may, if if I do, no, 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 no. If I do it next week. No, it's only 22 minutes past the hour. Don't even think I'll hit the foot. Don't you dare. Yes, I will. I'll step on yours. uh, You step on mine? Okay. Who's going to hurt more? (laughs) Okay. Anyway, the point is that um, uh, uh, I'm going to have to take like, you know, I'm going to do it over a weekend, but I may not be able to go on on Tuesday if I'm not finished putting it back together again. And your point is? Either that or I might find that just one day of really working at it but just pull everything out and then just all plug them back in that I could probably do it in one day. Well, but if you I don't do it know. by group, you know, if you section, you can, yeah. if you can, Alex, you can be very you, organized about it. Oh, yeah. You can't be organized with electronics. I'll tell you something right now. This is a snarl of wires down here, okay? I'm good. If I take everything out and I say, now I'm going to redo everything and I plug the plugs in in places and so on and so forth. By the time I get the last wire in place, there'll be another snarl. They have hoses that no, you No, I've done those. They don't work. And plus, they get dusty, dirty, and disgusting. So ties. Use ties. I use ties a lot. All right. I use them a lot. But it, that isn't, doesn't help either. You know. Um, but we're 1023. Gonna... Anyway, so I may have to take the network off and everything while I redo this whole studio. We I Don't even think about it. It, it, you've still got six, seven minutes, seven minutes. And I, and maybe I'll make it nine or ten if you keep doing this. Hey, at 10.30 is the cutoff. Anything after that is gravy, is my treat to you. What, what do you mean 10.30? A half an hour. Why is that the, uh, the cutoff? That was the agreement. It, oh, really? Yeah, to oh. stay for half an hour so I could have somebody to talk to. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, anyway. Uh, nobody's paying attention to this, by the way. Usually, we used to get some pretty high numbers with you, but you, you're just not as much fun as you used to be. Because we don't argue. We, we, we no, we don't. Because I've been taking the nice pill, but I'm, st- I'm going to stop taking the nice Uh-oh. pill. Here it goes. I'm going to stop taking the nice pill. It takes a nasty pill. Because I think it's make my feet hurt more. I don't know, but I'm taking. I couldn't tell you. I'm not taking. I'm not, the nice pill does make me nice. It makes me, it, I am lilting. It's the gabapentin, folks. I don't know if that's the, you know. Okay. What do you mean okay? Well, we ran you out st- of stuff to talk about. You still got about. five minutes. We ran out of stuff to talk about. Well, Trump. Uh. She sits, I got to tell you about her. And I, I'm, I hate to tell you this, but it doesn't work. What doesn't work? She sits there at her te- at the television set while Trump is on yelling, shut up, you fat fuck. So? Well, he doesn't hear you. I don't care. It's getting it out of my body. Yeah. It's getting the venom out. 
shut up, you piece of shit. Yes. Yeah. And then if she finds a woman she doesn't like on TV, she <laughs> constantly tells me, like, she, we were watching Shark Tank and they had Bethany Frankel on. And you just, every two minutes, I hate her. She's I a hate cunt. Her. She really is. Why, why is she? She's just so snippy and, you know. I don't like her, but I don't think she's a cunt. I do. You know. Kirsten Gillibrand's a cunt, but not Bethany Frank. She made one mistake. What, one mistake? <laughs> Big I, mistake. I agree, I agree. Sexist mistake. I agree. You know, she did it all for her political future. Yes. You know, and do I want that kind of person uh, in, in office? No. I'm too bad a, 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 a Cortez isn't young, is, is, isn't old enough. I'd vote for her right now. <laughs> She's she's really cool. Yeah, but she's got, you know, she's got a lot of learning to do. Would be wrong of me to say she's hot. No. Oh, okay, she's hot. Okay. You know, that's why I can't figure out why Phil hates her. Because Phil, you know, he should love... Uh, uh, Phil's uh, getting Alexia, worse. Alexia, Alexia uh, Ocasio-Cortez. AOC, they're calling her. Phil seems to be getting worse. Or OAC. OAC. AOC. AOC. Yeah. yeah. What? Phil's getting worse. Yeah. Well, because he has no, he can't, he, he can't justify Trump's actions. It's true. You know, and it's starting to frustrate him, because Trump doesn't give him any, any. leeway. You know, for stuff that he can do. I'm, I'm getting stuff ready here. Okay. Well, it's uh, four minutes. Yeah. It's well, going to take me they, four they, minutes they, to no, roll. It's over. not going to take you four minutes yes, to roll is. over. Uh, let me see here. Well, because I have to put my foot up and I have to change I chairs. Have to, I have to do a few things here. All right, so you do that and I'm going to uh, maneuver uh, uh, over here. Do you want me to open up the line? Yeah. Okay. The lines are now open. Wait a minute. Don't do I'm that. I'm just moving. Well, okay. I have to get right. my, my leg up here. All right. So uh, let me see here. Let me get rid of that and let me... Uh, get rid of that and I've got to clean some things up here folks I know this isn't making much sense to most of you listening to the audio version of it but it's just stuff I got to do in order to uh, be ready to you know to talk oh come on over move over let me oh wait a minute I got to do something here hold on a second hold on a second not now uh, let me see here. Let me boom. And uh, there we go. Move you in. Okay. You there we go. Huh? You, it, well, you know, you, you got to hold your, you got to have your foot on that chair right now. Well, You're I, leaving soon anyway. Well, can I put it on here? No, oh, there's no room for that. And I'll leave it there. This will be fine. She's a mess, folks. I am. Uh, oh, here comes Jeff Stein. Hey. You know. Yeah, that's Jeff Stein coming on. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me uh, go to the panel there. Here we go. And uh, hello, Jeff. How hey. are you? Good, good. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. So oh, it's like a Christmas doing? tree over there. Oh, yeah, that's Pam's Christmas tree. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you know what the date is today? It's the 25th. Pam, do you know I don't what? Hear I about it. <laughs> Do you know? That's a Valentine's Day. No, we have a Christmas tree on the 11th. It'll be gone by Wait. the 9th. Well, first of all, you don't have a Christmas tree past, say, the 5th of January. That's hey, for starters. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. I can have a Christmas tree as often as I want. And secondly, I, I assume you're Jewish just like your husband. Yeah, you assumed wrong. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so you're a, you're a, you're a, you're Goyim. Yes. Oh, I see. Shiksa. You're Shiksa. Okay, so you get to have a Christmas tree, but you lose your license if it isn't down by the 5th of January. No, the 25th. Not true. Now, is that a, an electric tree? That is a real thing, babe. That's a, That's a real one. I got to put water in it. You just reminded me. <laughs> yeah, so what is it like to be married to a Gentile, uh, Phil? Uh, uh, Jeff. Phil? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Huh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he's looking for answer, right? I don't know what he's looking for, but he's looking for something. Marjorie, you, how are you feeling? You have, I hear you hurt your head, girl. I had a concussion. Oh, <laughs> and then I lost my wallet this week. 
This has not been the year for you. Yeah, I mean, it's, I have it all over. It's all done with. Good. Yeah. On, that's right. This is the third thing. So yeah, now you're done, exactly. Right? They said that three thing. Yeah. Whatever that is. Three times. Three yeah. times. Three times you're out. That's yeah, well, I'm definitely out. Wait a minute. Let me hold on a second. Let me do something right. here. I'm... Don't water my Christmas tree. Feel better, Marjorie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Hope okay. to see you soon. Yeah. Bye-bye. Anyway, Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, hello to uh, Rob Alfano. Hello to Ray Renati. Look at Ray. Hello. What were you trying hello. to What were you trying to tell us, Ray, about uh, uh, oh, the, w- the wait Yeah, the tile. The tile is Bluetooth. But if anybody else walks by something that you leave somewhere far away and they have a tile, it will notify you. <laughs> and you will know where it is on a map. If other people have a tile. Yeah, but not near a, your how, how many people have the fucking tile? A lot. I don't know. We bought them and I never used them. We because returned I, them. We oh, returned I them because the they were time. so big. They were too big. And, and what happened is is that they only work on the basis of the Bluetooth, so it's if you lose your wallet around the house, you know. It's and, good. And, and that wasn't enough for me, you know. I don't think you. I don't think it's yeah, in the house. I get it. I do. You do think it's in the house? Because I did two things before I, before lunchtime. Mm-hmm. I took a car service and I went to Starbucks, both of which I don't need cash. I didn't need my wallet. So yeah. it was only at lunchtime when I went to look for my wallet, I realized it wasn't there. So you, you, you didn't use your wallet at Starbucks? No. I a- and you didn't lose your wall, lose your, use your wallet with the, uh, with the car. car service? And he looked all over the car and it wasn't yeah. there. Well, maybe you just... Do you, have any, do you have anything with odor in there, like weed or something? You can get a dog and sniff <laughs> <No>. it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello to Charles Wallace, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is back being a regular again. Good. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> the, that's the good news for us. The bad news for him is he isn't getting laid. So, uh, <laughs> nope. Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, losing your wallet is just, you know. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. And we've all had it happen. You know, what happened to me was the one I was lucky with was it fell out of the back of my pocket and fell on the pavement in front of the apartment house and somebody actually came up, rang the doorbell and said, here's your wallet. They found it on the ground outside. Remember the time somebody found my wallet and took it to the police and they brought it to the house? Yes, and that was very nice. That's great. Yeah, that was very nice. It was the day after I had wound up paying $1,200 to get your door opened on New Year's Eve because, because I felt so bad about it, <laughs> you know. And that was when I didn't have any money too. You were yeah. working. Huh? You were working. I was working, but I didn't have any money yet. I was, you know, I was uh, living on a, uh, what's the word, uh, week to week. So, anyway. Paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. Oh, there's Phil. I didn't even notice Phil joined us. Uh-huh. There he is. Well, uh, you know, is does this look familiar? What? What is it? A it's a Chumi wallet. Is that what you lost? No, yeah. no, no. She, what she a lost was wallet. a really nice one. It's really nice. Well, you know. it's a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, uh, I'm sorry you're having all of this bad luck, uh, Marjorie. Well, know. let's see. We got the concussion. The concussion was really good. I enjoyed the concussion. That was fun. <laughs> to begin with, she falls on her head and then she starts throwing up. I'm going. She's got a concussion immediately. It didn't. Hurt, it didn't hurt you a bit, did it? No, but then she starts writing a letter to her office, mm-hmm. and she says, is, "Is this okay?" And I read it, and it makes no sense the words whatsoever. Were all jumbled up. One word did not follow the next. You know, it was yeah. I for two you going now for them. Uh, Jeff knows what that's called. What's it called, Jeff? A stroke. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. But she's uh, she's better now. She, You're muted, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Muted. she's back to her. Uh, she's back to the way she was, which is still not that far from a concussion. So, you know. Well, don't don't you have repetitive uh, problems in your in your head right now? I still get, like, get headaches and stuff. I still get headaches, but not the way it was in the beginning. It was twenty four seven in the beginning. Yeah, are you getting I, them now? I, yeah, I just have one this afternoon, but not as bad and doesn't last as long. Yeah. 
And you only get them when Alex is around. Exactly. Post concussion syndrome. When Alex. Yeah. yeah. It, it, extra that's strength, what he called it. Extra strength, ibuprofen, and concussion uh, syndrome. Open. He called it that. Yeah. The doctor. Yeah. Look where I was today. Oh, Wait a minute. Just, you obviously I, went to a hospital. Yeah. And they gave uh, you that little bracelet. Yes, they did. What? Why were you at the hospital? I had an uh, I had an appointment at the urology uh, uh, department. I just thought it was for an exam. You know, but I get in there and they put this thing on my wrist and uh, uh, then the nurse hands me this piece of paper and it says ciscoscopy. Oh, I, no. I, I said, what? She says, yeah, that's why you're here. I said, I didn't know why I was here. I just had an appointment. I showed up, you know, <laughs> I, I paid my copay. I sat down in the chair. Ciscoscopy. Cystoscopy. So, Close enough. Yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't that about your prostate? No, that's about your bladder. Yeah, they stick this thing up your penis into your bladder, and the guy looks. He says, "It all looks good." <laughs> uh, well, I, yeah, yeah, I had I had two of them, and I finally got rid of that urologist because it seemed like he really enjoyed giving them because it was expensive. You know, an expensive procedure. And uh, they don't do a good job of hiding the implement before you are, uh, are sit down there either. They just, uh, it's, it looks like a giant snake. Yes, Brian. Yeah, I was just going to ask Marjorie, um, does, uh, when, when, regarding your headaches, does uh, like strong caffeinated coffee and uh, like two 500 milligram uh, headache pills help at all? Like they do me when I get migraines? Well, I never had a migraine before. I mean, this was like really the first time. I used the same pain med medicine that I used for my back, and it seemed to, to help. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but uh, she's, she's not getting the headaches as badly as she no, was in the I'm beginning. No, and I'm not dizzy when I get up. I was really dizzy. And the, the head doctors told her that she's going to be fine. They did an MRI, and they, they saw the concussion, did they? They did a couple of MRIs. They did one on my neck, one on my head. They did yeah, something yeah. showing the flow of blood from your Don't neck. Don't you have to, to go for another thing? I have to go for a balance test this week. Really? Yeah. You know, you see those things where they show the, uh, like, the brain. Uh, oh, wait, uh, hold, hold on a second. Ray, the... Ray, and mute yourself, would you? Because we're getting all that air conditioning sound. Oh no! It's not it sounds him. muted. I, I was muted. Oh, then who is it? it must. Be. Huh. Hey, it, it's somebody. It could be. So, what were you Brian. saying, Brian? No, I was just asking if uh, the uh, if, like it helps with me. Co uh, strong coffee, French roast, like we were talking about last night, or something strong like that, and uh, some um, migraine over-the-counter pills. I do nothing over-the-counter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I think it's I think it's Brian who's uh, emitting all the noise. It was. I turned it off. Uh, uh, I'll tell you something. Uh, our friend Adrian takes gabapentin for her her migraines. Her migraines. I guess gabapentin is the drug they give everybody for everything. You know, um, but uh, it seems to make my feet feel worse. So I'm going to stop taking it for a couple of days. And with that. Gentlemen, because there's no women up there, I'm going to say good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Isn't that good disgusting? Two all. old people kissing. Good night. Good night. Good night. Two old people it kissing. Is. Isn't that disgusting? It is. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you know what I did with your uh, your uh, the uh, mini uh, the mini Mac Mini. Yeah, what'd you do? Sell them for a thousand? No, I replaced uh, Marjorie's Mac Mini with that Mac Mini, so she has a slightly faster Mac Mini. Oh, good. Yeah. So, so now I have another Mac Mini. I don't know what to do with. Maybe I'll sell it or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe you can run the show off that one. Oh no, you're already running the show off a of Mac Mini. No, no, I'm running the show the off network. of uh, the, the off network. Windows. Oh, the, Windows. the network I run off of oh, Mac Mini. Oh, no, no, the uh, the uh, the um, network you're uh, running. Off. Yeah, but I, you know, I'm I'm uh, hopefully uh, you know I'm gonna uh, I'm dreading installing this uh, Mac Pro because I just got to do so much rewiring here to just make it. As long as I'm going to be down there changing it, I mean, I can I make a suggestion? What? You get some tape uh, that you can write on. And you label everything before you pull it apart. No, so you label where it goes and what it is, 
That's and, what I should have done. And the other end, before you touch anything. That's what I should have done. If you just start <laughs> pulling, it's it, it's game over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, it's not game over because what I'm what I can do is I can install the the Mac Pro and just hook in the hard drives that I need to hook in and and leave it at that and not really and then I just have a few things that I have to move up from the other thing and just leave it at that, or I can choose to neaten everything up. Right? Yeah, but if you're gonna neat it up, just whatever you pull out, label even if it's just a color, you know, different colored tapes or. Uh, something to that effect. Uh, just well, thank do you, Phil. yourself a favor. Thank you, Phil, but I won't do it. Anyway. Uh, of course not. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, we'll see you in two weeks on uh, Gabnet. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I'm not doing it this weekend. Yeah. You, know, uh, you know, I probably should just do it simply and install the Mac Pro and leave it at that and, uh, and then start cleaning everything up, up you know. But I'm having, mm. uh, it's, it's, it's going to be, a, it's quite a thing. So, plus I have to replace all these things that I have where my USBs went into with new ones that I bought for like 50 bucks each that are uh, 3.0 Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth? Oh, how much? Uh, not Bluetooth, USB. Excuse 50 yeah. bucks each? Well, these, were, these are all Bluetooth and they, uh, they're, they're, they're about 35 bucks for the cheap one. And then there was a more expensive one I got that actually has 10. It's a USB hub, right? It's a USB hub, yeah, that has 10. So, you know. Uh, and, yeah. and uh, you know, I mean, I, I can flop them around here just like the rest of them are, but I just feel I got to neaten things up, you know. Yeah, I, mine uh, on the USB hub, uh, there's three that are ch for charging. Yes, so I know. I, ha I got one of those, but then the, the second one doesn't yeah. do that, but it has 10 USB ports on it. They come in handy. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I want to be able to actually take most of my USB devices and put them all on those two hubs, okay? Yeah. You know. Well, there's only four inputs or four USB slots in the, in the Mac Pro. Uh, uh, yes, that's one of the reasons why I got them. Yeah, and these are all hooked into uh, power, so they're electrically operated. Yeah, yeah. So they're strong, you know. So you, mm -hmm. I mean, you can you can take one of those plugs in the uh, in the Mac Pro, and put uh, two other of those things coming out of just one of those, you know. Yeah. Uh, and and they'll be fine because you're you know you've got the electricity driving the signal. Can you just daisy chain them? Yeah, that's uh, what I'm thinking. You know, a yeah. daisy chain them. And then I I got a little got a little thing it only it turned out it only cost me like uh maybe it cost me 20 bucks for an audio to USB and I didn't think it would work because I was thinking that it it, it didn't have the right inputs or whatever. I hooked it in in the off in the studio in the uh, guest room. And uh, it works perfectly, just works perfectly. So I can now go in through the USB. Uh, this is the thing I was talking about, which is a uh, USB to analog uh, converter. Yeah, but I already have that. Yeah. I don't have that yeah. one, but I have another one, and it was cheaper and smaller. Yeah, 29 bucks. Mine was 20 bucks, and it was smaller. And it works just fine. It, you know. yeah. But mine's prettier. It, it no, it isn't. It's red. Yeah, it's red. Yeah, mine's just like about this long. And it's got a little thing, and that's it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little thing. Huh? I guess that's the reason why. Uh, and, and actually, if I wanted to, if I wanted to have more USB ports, I just have to get uh, Thunderbolt to USB. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what those why they think those Thunderbolts are a good idea. It's fast. It's fast. It's faster than the USB three. Well, if you if you want to pay for a, a, a hard a hard drive that's a, that's a Thunderbolt, I suppose it is faster. But do you know how much more they cost than the average hard drive? Well, you know that's why I got the Drobo. You know, it's uh, Thunderbolt. The, why do you keep so. saying Drobo? You like the name Drobo? It's a piece of shit, just like any of those other things, like the one Rob got. No, it's quiet. 
And uh, so's mine. And, and the dashboard's really uh, intuitive. I have a dashboard on mine. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's, uh, <sighs> you know. What? What, Phil? I mean, what, Rob? Uh, it's frustrating because uh, nobody's even nibbled on it yet. I, I'm going to wind up giving it away. I'd buy it from you. The only problem is you say it makes noise. <laughs> oh, I don't need that in a studio. <laughs> yeah, it's not good for a studio. Probably. You know why it makes noise? Is because you bought one that has the uh, installs them inside the box. I have Don't the one all? where you just pull them out from the front. Um, no, I think they, uh, I think they vibrate because the, the the plastic sleeves that they use, the caddies that they use, mm. are cheap crap, and they use these rubber grommet type things. That, they look like screws, but there's no threads on them. And all you do is, you know, there are four screws they, on the side of the drives. In. They don't even snap in; they just fit in. And yeah. then when you know, by the time you get that third seventy-two hundred RPM drive in there, the damn thing is. And I, I sit it's, in my office. It's funny though, but because I me nuts. no, because I had to put sure these. I, the drive. I had to put these in the, the caddies. I had to put these in the caddies. You and then screw I screw them into the caddies. Into right? the caddies, right? Yeah. So there's no. Well, you should have put it in the Lincoln. Oh, there are no screws on yours. No screws. It's just oh. they're just they, they look like little pegs, and they 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 go in the holes where the screws go, but they don't thread. So everything is sort of like floating. It, so it's kind of vibrating. Is yeah. what's yeah. happening? It's, yeah. It's because a mine, mine is a outside wall. of the clicking and clacking that it makes occasionally. Well, that's normal drive. You, yeah. Clack. I don't hear. That. I don't hear anything. Right, and that's you the know. way it should be. And I complained, and QNAP told, they told me to send them an audio file of it. So I recorded it, mm -hmm. sent it to them, and they said, no, nope, that's that's normal. You and know, Rob, so i, I got to tell you, the people at QNAP were really good when well, I they dealt were, with them. They were pleasant, but they, yeah. didn't give, they didn't, like, satisfy me. So Why don't you do a review? Uh, oh, I that, did a review. Uh, oh, and they didn't get back to you, and then they no, offered it, no? No, I did a review. I do a review on everything. You, could, I you couldn't get them to take it back and upgrade to, say, the one I nope. have? I told them. I said, I wanted to upgrade to a different model. And they were like, you got to send us this thing first to let us hear the sound. because." Uh, and then they came back and they said, no, that's just normal sound. Okay. Hey, you're a sound guy. You couldn't make it sound like it was the end of the earth. Yeah, I, you, you, you should have. You should have. <laughs> I don't know what I could have made it. You know what I could have done. And plus, it's loud enough. You know what it is too. What? You're not. It's not ambient. You're not sitting in the room. You're hearing it come off of a like a microphone, a recorder. I use my iPhone, and I, and I as I was doing it, I'm like, this isn't going to sound like because you're hearing other ambient noise in the room. It's very different. Well, what you should have done was you should have placed the the iPhone right on top of it. No, uh, you know what? I didn't think of that. And, and that, then that. recorded it, and they would have heard this huge rumble, you know. And, yeah. and but uh, gee, I'm, so, up, I'm sorry about I'm gonna that. Wind up, I'm going to wind up throwing it out the the top window of the house. I'll get more satisfaction than giving it away. I'm sorry that I. I'm glad that I went back on my buying it from Woot and yeah, went and decided yeah, to get it. this this version of it. And this version was just yeah, yeah. just. I, but I you can't. know what? I also I determined. That, that after having it in the house, I don't really want it. I right. truly will. I'm not going to buy another one because I don't really want it. I don't really need it. To me, it's just I thought I wanted it. And then after having it, I'm like, mm, I don't really want it. So I, I'm, I, I was only going to upgrade because I figured that it'd be my only way to not lose my money. So now now that I uh, they're not going to do it, I uh, sell it for whatever I can get for it and then just... I don't want a NAS. I realize I don't want a NAS. Oh, okay. Well, I I, I like the NAS. You know, uh, you I want just, your storage. I, I just think it's... no. I don't even really need it. I don't keep anything. I don't. What, what do I keep? If I want to download a movie or something to watch, I watch it and then I delete it. And if I I don't keep anything, I don't see some pictures and I keep them on iCloud or on my uh, my laptop or whatever. I'm not a I don't hoard the... Uh, well, I have two NAS drives from S Seagate, which they don't make anymore. They're five uh, terabytes each, and I keep uh, my, a lot of T 
TV shows and video and things like that yeah, on them. And then I also have another one that's four and another one that's four. So let's see here. What are, what are we up to now? We're up to 18. And then I've got the 10 on the, uh, on the uh, what do you call it, drive? On the, uh, sell, sell it to Alex for his other studio. He buys everybody's used stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. For, I, I, I don't, don't need, see no, you see, need for it. I don't need it for the other studio because you don't buy, get it for the other studio because all my studios are hooked in. Yeah, to the nap. network, the idea of a so I mean, I could take I could take this QNAP and put it in the guest room, and it would run just as well as it does anywhere else because I rewired yeah. into the, into the guest room. Well, that's, the, that's a good idea for Rob. If it's noisy, put it in a different room. And, and where where I don't want it in my home theater. No, just put it in the basement. I don't, want, or I, I don't have any network. Or, I don't have a network connection in the basement. We have one in what, what was the uh, was your studio. Huh? You have one in your I don't, studio? That, that's, no, you yeah, I, have it. I don't want it in the studio. Not that I use it right now. It's a mess. I can't do anything with it. But, um, uh, yeah, I could put it there temporarily. But yeah. if I start using the studio again, you, would wanna, you wouldn't want that humming while you got the mic open. So that, that wouldn't work. No. In the office, it makes me absolutely nuts. I, I try. I, I just like, I'm going to ignore this. And then it, it's, it's like torture. Yeah. And it's like, oh, so it had to go. I shut it down. And then I was like, I'm not going to put it in my theater. I can put it in here. I've got network connections in here. I don't want it in here either. I mean, I just bottom line is I really don't need it. Well, I was having trouble. I, thought I, was, I wanted I, it. I, I, thought I, I, needed it. I was having trouble with my network going into the guest room through the wire. So I was having to use the Wi-Fi, which is slower. Uh, and then what I did was. I got a new wire, new 100 feet of wire, that was meant for faster speeds. What did you get, Cat 6E? It's Cat 6E, yeah. 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 And I ran that in there, and now I'm getting like, you know, seven terab uh, 700 up and 700 down without even breathing heavily. So you run that directly to your modem or, uh, yeah, I run it directly. or to your switch? I want to switcher, yeah. Yeah. And then it goes out to all the other things that I've got there. And so I could actually now very easily do a show from the guest room now because I've got when the I speed. Had, when, when I had the house wired, they asked me if I wanted that. And I was like, okay, what's the cost? And it was some ridiculous cost on top of what, you know, uh, they wanted to charge to wire the house. You know, and it's a racket because they're wiring your house before the walls go up. Yeah. Yeah. So it takes them no time to do. And they wanted to charge me all this money to go with the Cat 6E, and I just get, I just said, get them. I, I'm, I'm not. What you do, I'm, Rob? Not a corporate they, environment. Next, I don't need. Next house, next house, you go out with a couple boxes of Cat 6E wire and a, and a and a case of beer, and you say to the guy, "Hey, can you use this instead of that?" <laughs> and uh, you know, the problem is you don't know when they're coming. You don't have any clue as to how they're doing what they're doing. You, you yeah. just. Don't. Oh. Well, you know, I've got mine tacked to the side of the baseboards, and I'd rather have it that way probably than built into the house because if it ever goes <laughs> bad, you know, you've got it wired into the house. Yeah, it doesn't go. I mean, I had the other house 10 years. The, the, that stuff doesn't. You know what it is? You need to check them mm -hmm. when they first do them because a lot of times they don't do a good job of of, of testing them. Yeah. So I had, a, I had two of them here. When I finally connected them, they didn't work. So they have to come in and they got to re-terminate them. They got to cut the connectors and, and you know, they, they don't test them, you know. So I got uh, to tell you, though, I got to tell you, and this is for people who are listening too, since, you know, oddly enough, getting big numbers as we're talking tech. Uh, maybe maybe I've just found the new, th new format. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I uh, wondered if you shouldn't, like, do something on the side or whatever, have somebody do something on the side that's all tech talk. Yeah. Like, your your CNET them. show was so good, you know, you should do a second show that's like your old CNET show. Yeah, well, that I but I wanted to shoot myself doing that show. So really? anyway, you like doing that? No, no do, yeah. do, doing four hours, three hours every day about technology. Well, you can kind, do less. You kind of can get more. to you after a while. I, I can't imagine you doing that because I can't imagine you staying on topic like that. Oh, I, was, I learned so much from that show. Did you I have guests? I didn't listen yeah, to his I other guess. shows. I had oh, guests, yeah. 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 And uh, 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 I'd have wide, weird web Wednesdays, and then I would find really weird websites that we'd uh, talk to. We talked to people who had them. 
but uh but and i was the only here. i was the only show on cnet that got ratings they otherwise the numbers were too low f to register in the book and then they asked me to stop doing what i was doing why well it, it doesn't fit with our image i said what is that they said we're Losing. we're the business of we're the business of technology, and I said, have you looked around lately? There isn't a business left. This is when there was all the furniture on the corners and everything, and Silicon Valley had gone belly up. Um, but uh, uh, no, they didn't. They didn't like somebody doing something that people would listen to. That 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 was a problem for them. Uh, but. Um, the, the, also, the but the, the, point, I, the point I was going to make, but I, what I was going to say about Wi-Fi is that most Wi-Fi today, most Wi-Fi boxes you will buy today uh, are so strong that they will literally get a signal around a huge house without you having to, uh, you know, here I have a bit of a problem because I've got these walls that are like really yeah, they're plaster. Thick. Yeah, they're plaster and they're thick. But in yeah. most homes, like your home, Rob, a yeah, good a, a good centrally located Wi-Fi yeah. will one take... isn't enough here. I need two. Oh. I have two. Oh, I, I've okay. got one here and one in the front yeah. in my office. Yeah, I have two. Uh, I have an Airport Extreme, and the problem with that is that now well, I have well, the, much faster. The, the Apple is uh, a piece of shit. Right, because now it's restricted to like one fifty or one. You know, so it, it, even though the speed I have is much faster, yeah. If I if I went directly into the modem, the uh, the the problem is is the Apple Extreme. Yeah. Well, what, uh, what you do is you get uh, I, uh, what is it? Yeah, a, a D Link uh, has very nice ones for about 150 that will just inundate your house. And a lot of cable companies are now trying to sell you. I can't remember the name of the brand, but literally the you place mesh. these all. Huh? Who? The Mesh. The, mesh? the new mesh, yeah. the new mesh uh, technologies. Google has one, and uh, I think Netgear has one. It's called mesh technology, and what you do is you put, you can buy, <coughs> depending upon the size of your home, you can buy one, two, three, or four of these things, and they they make a mesh. So automatically, when you go from place to place in your home, the 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 signal switches to the to the the, the device that's closest to you. It's called it's called mesh. Yeah, and they it's all pretty they, cool. They, they all, work really well. They all read off of each other, right? They're all connected. They're all you're on the same network. It doesn't you you, you don't know it, but when the signal gets weaker, the the computer automatically switches to the the access point that's closest oh, to you. Oh, that that's this stuff called E E R O Pro Mesh Wi Fi. Well, there's and that. Google has one. Linksys. Google Linksys Wi Fi. Has Linksys. One. Yep. Google yeah. one's ninety nine bucks. Uh, it depends on how, yeah, but is that it, for two or it, it one? It depends on how many uh, nodes you buy. Like one, uh, look like one. That's why. Okay, because I think it's about two hundred and fifty bucks to get three of them. Like you put one on each level in different parts of the house. You put one. This is the back. I'm pointing this way. This is the back of my house over here. Yeah. You put one on this level. Then downstairs, you might put one in central. Yeah. And then up in my up upstairs, you put one toward the front of the house. So you're kind of. You've got this mesh that anywhere you are in the house, you get a great signal. Would that solve your uh, NAS problem and allow no, you to put No, noise is noise. Yeah, and, but if you put it in the closet in the it, guest bedroom. Yeah, but then, oh, you're talking about. But you wouldn't want to put it. No, NAS but you, on you can't hook. You can't hook a NAS up to a Wi-Fi. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and you I wouldn't want to. You you wouldn't want to. Well, you can't yeah. hook your Drobo up to a Wi-Fi, can you? No. I no. Well, oh, my okay. Drobo is storage only. It's not. Uh, it's not a NAS. Well, it's, it's a storage it's, NAS. It's that's a what NAS. No, no, I, I have one that's just storage. It's not a NAS. It's the 5DT. It, it does. Oh, it's not, yes. Yours connects to directly to your computer. Right. Yeah. With a Thunderbolt. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's not yeah. a NAS. Yeah. Right. Boy. It, it's yeah. just lots of storage. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you, I do like that Mac Pro, man. Uh, that <laughs> thing is, is screaming. In yeah. fact, I, I, I now use my old Mac Pro here, and it feels yeah. terribly slow to me. <laughs> you know, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. You've been spoiled. Yeah. Well, uh, let's. Uh, hi, Vernon. How are you? That's uh, Vi Vernon saying, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. Is that what you sent? Am I right? Uh, really? I speak. Found a ghost spelunking because somebody uh, caved. 
Yeah, I was going to say, you know, I thought the same thing. Nah, uh, that he caved more, than a, we'll a, more than a Swiss spelunker. Yeah. Uh, February 15th. We'll see. Phil. You get ready for the Phil, wall. Phil, when are you going to get... There will be no wall, Phil. Phil. Come on. Gonna... You gotta February, really, you gotta, February you gotta get 16th. With it. You got to get with it. To paraphrase, uh, uh, to paraphrase <laughs> uh, former uh, Vicente Fox, there's going to be no fucking wall. <laughs> no. The, yeah. the Demo- even the Republicans don't want the wall. Only they, Trump now wants we're going to need the wall to keep the Venezuelans Did you out. hear him today trying to justify a wall? <laughs> well, this is going to be a modern wall. Now yeah. he's now he's at least admitting that walls are old-fashioned. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he's come around because he got his ass handed to him. Two times in yeah. one week, this guy went caving. Yeah, it's true. You know, hey, you know you're gloating now. Well, we'll see what we're happens. Not, this we're, is not, not gloating. we're not this gloating. Is, we're saying, I told you so. Yes, that's what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it isn't over. This is just part of the negotiation. Sure. Yeah, this is part of the he's negotiation. Country pretty soon. Huh? What is he's, su- he's such a great negotiator. You know, instead of war bonds, we're going to have wall bonds. Yeah, you know? it could You'll be. See. Yeah. Well, you can contribute to that if you want to, Phil. I won't. First of all, what I don't understand is supposedly his his base is conservative, right? Mm-hmm. And conservatives typically don't like to spend lots of money. So why would a, so he promised the wall? Okay, good. He promised the wall. He also promised that the Mexicans would pay for it. So why would his base, knowing that the Mexicans aren't going to pay for it, want to spend their money on it? You know, you well, say his base is conservative, but I don't think his base is conservative necessarily. I, I think his base uh, comes from basically stupid people in rural America. Well, look, before you condemn stupid people in rural America, I, what Trump is saying is that the wall, by building it, will actually save us a lot of money because it costs us so much to prosecute to and, and to deal with Phil, illegal Phil, alien Phil, problems. Phil, 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 he makes claims that he can't even prove. Uh, did you hear his whole diatribe about women being gagged at the border? And with duct tape. With duct tape. Uh, I want to know how many of those incidents have happened, or did he hear about one happening, and now well, he's telling America that women are coming into this country with duct tape on their mouths. The secret that he didn't tell sometimes you was that that's the only close. way that's the only way to shut them up. There, yeah, there was there was another secret that he didn't tell you. Some were being u- using electrical tape instead of duct tape. So you know you got to be careful. Nah. Nah, electrical tape won't stick to your skin. It won't stick to your skin. Duct tape does. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, I mean, uh, when he started in with those myths about all these horror stories that he was trying to tell. And then what is this thing oh. he does where he's done this more than once, where all you have to do is turn left. And you well, can, I, and I don't you, know. What, I haven't heard that. Yeah, you I can turn left. That. and you, you heard it, right, Charles? It, what does he mean? Well, what, he the, he was describing how people can get into the United States without going through a border crossing or something. He said you can turn left. What's he doing? Giving directions to drug dealers? <laughs> no, he's just telling them to go to California. Hmm. Boy, but I'll tell you, I you know I wasn't that hot for Nancy Pelosi, but I'm taking it all back. She's she's just she's taking him to the woodshed. She yeah, is. We'll see. Fresh. She is. She what do you mean we'll it. see? We already have seen Phil. He's caved twice in one week. Have you ever heard of him caving on Look, anything? The, the art of the well, dealer. Uh, not necessarily. But, uh, you know, this is a little more high stakes than a building. And, uh, you know, uh, he's he wanted to make sure that the people that were suffering didn't suffer any longer. And he has other plans for building the wall. He's the one that caused him to suffer in the first place. Well, no, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer by no, their No, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, they, they passed the bill. Wait, wait, wait. They you passed can't... the bill because Trump said he would sign it. And then uh, uh, conservative pundits, do, you know, demanded that he, that he not sign it. So he backed off they back in right. December, back in they December. Right. And now right. did you hear, did you advice. hear, did you hear what Ann Coulter said? Oh, yeah. what? Uh, he uh, says she, her latest pr- pronouncement is Trump has turned out to be a bigger wimp than the original uh, George Bush. 
Well, it's uh, easy for her to say. Yes, know? it is easy no, for I her agree. to say. No, I agree. You're right. It's very right. easy to say because it's true. No, but, it, you know, it's, it's easy to swipe at people. You know, when he had the oh, pressure. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, swipe at people. American people. Uh, you, you're talking uh, about the bully who writes all those taunts in his tweets? Uh, who really calls people Pocahontas and uh, and... You know, he doesn't have a name for Nancy Pelosi. No though. name for Nancy. No, just Nancy. Just Nancy. Just Nancy. Yes, he's, Brian. He's, he's so um, I'm, I'm intrigued here. It's like Phil is, bash, Phil, you are bashing the people like Ann Coulter, like Rush Limbaugh, who are or were instrumental in giving rise to a demagogue like Trump in the first place. If it weren't for those people, there would be no Donald Trump. No, if it wasn't for the liberal media, there'd be no Donald Trump. If it wasn't for uh, CNN and all those other uh, people that gave him millions and millions of dollars worth of uh, airtime. Yeah, yeah the, you're uh, right. You know, you're absolutely right about You guys that. elected him. You guys did it. No. no it you was, just, now it you're was, reaping what you sowed. No, no. What it was was. It was oh, Vlad. No, it was, Vlad it, did it. It was. Vlad did it. It, it was no. It was the network. It was the networks who were greedy and will always try and make money. Right. Who got him elected because he I was mean, good? Right. Because he There's was a, he was so good cop. Enjoy it. There's a friggin' town hall with Camilla on Monday night. I, I'm like, I'm not watching that. I'm sorry. We're, we're really we're going for we're going. Camilla, what's oh, her oh, name? Harris, uh, yeah, the uh, Camilla the, uh, Harris, San Francisco. Camilla Harris. Harris. CNN is hosting a a, 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 round, a a town hall with her Monday night. I'm like, really? We're already starting this crap. It's about the ratings. And Bernie Sanders. I, I'm, I'm, is I'm the last one. Candidacy. I'm the last one that should correct anybody. But I, I, isn't it Kamala? It's Kamala. Yeah. Camilla, Camilla, yeah, Camilla. Believe me, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't, you know, I don't deserve to correct anybody when it comes to pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but she is in your area, so you know the name. Yeah, you know, Kamala Harris. Uh, but she, uh, um, I mean, she's, I think she's very interesting and I'm paying attention to her. Uh, but I don't think it's time to hold a town hall with her. Right. Right. Know? Uh, and, uh, who knows what these networks are going to do during this election? You know, uh, uh, it, it, it isn't a matter of fake news. It never was a matter of fake news. It was a matter of, a portion in the portioning the news uh, in a not too portionate manner okay i mean trump got way too much publicity from these guys he didn't have to spend money on advertising at all because he got all the free advertising he needed from the uh, from the network right. and he knew how to play them like a well-tuned violin and they should all be ashamed of themselves and i said yeah, that when it was cool. happening so you agree with me? Oh, I said that when it was I'm happening, bad. Phil. You're not telling me anything I haven't been saying all along. He's very media savvy. There's no question about his ability to manipulate through the media. I mean, he's, he's great at it with tr with Twitter. I mean, but look at what he did with tweets. He literally yeah. got elected and made all his pronouncements through tweets. Doesn't and, make him a good president. And he fires through tweets. Does everything. You know, you know why he had the, you know why he had the Rose Garden announcement today, right? To distract uh, from the Roger Stone indictment. Of course. Well, you know, and it's interesting. Roger Stone says that he won't roll. He won't sell out the president just to save his own ass. Well, because hi, you're going is, to jail, Roger. Well, maybe he is. But, you know, Roger Stone's the first stand-up guy that was, that was uh, around him. So and now you got, Roger now Stone is a... Wait a minute. Happened. Roger Stone is a stand-up guy? Yeah. Yeah, the indictments not, brought against Roger Stone are not just things Roger Stone says. Robert Mueller has all of that stuff corroborated by other people and by other documents. Right, but Roger Stone was uh, Manafort's partner for, what, 10 years? And, yeah. all, and all of the stuff that they're taking him down on uh, had to do with prior no, uh, things. No, now, there's no, that one no, 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 Phil, no, 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 you're, Phil, lying, Phil, Phil, shut up, Phil, five shut up, of listen, lying, Phil. listen to the, five Vern. counts of lying. It's lying. Trump, it's lying, Phil, Phil, you aren't even paying attention to the news, you don't know what he's yeah, getting it was busted the WikiLeaks on. Thing. And no. lying about the president, and lying about the campaign. 
that he lied to he, Congress. He, he perjured himself before Congress, and that's what he got busted for today. He said, all he said before Congress, I thought he took the fifth, and I thought he said he didn't remember anything. No, he said some no. stuff. Uh, you know, they were pissed that, that he is, didn't give them any information. Yeah, as long as they still stay loyal to Trump, they'll all get a pardon. And that's Bree, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Stay loyal. Oh, now, and Kamala Harris's major con uh, contributor to her uh, funds and her campaigns is Time Warner. Really? Uh, they're number not one. George Soros. I hate to tell you this, Bree. There isn't any Time Warner any longer. Uh, That's right. They Warner Media. Warner Media, maybe, yeah. AT&T, yeah. isn't it? Then that's AT&T, yeah. Yeah. I, I thought Gabnet bought them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't. I, so is it is it AT&T then, Bree, or is it, uh, it's not Time Warner. Time Warner doesn't exist. I thought it did. No, no. It, it, well, they they area, sold it. They got bought by our cable company. Got well bought, was was Time Warner, and it got bought by Charter. But they're doing business as Spectrum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for the local. Cable that's for the cable system. systems. But the actual Warner uh, Time Warner Communications, uh, the movies, the magazines, all of that was bought up by AT and T. Warner Media Group. Warner Media Group, right? It's comprised of oh HBO, Warner Brothers, Turner. They're all under one. That's meeting. why Kamala Harris is getting the town hall. They like mm. her. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course they like her. I like, listen, I like her. Uh, yeah, but it's too early to get into this stuff. She takes a lot of Well, you know something? We could say it's too early, but unfortunately it isn't because they're all jumping in right now. You know? True. Uh, well, the mayor of South Bend, Indiana has thrown his hat in the ring. Yeah, but somebody who had thrown his hat in the ring today took it a, a, a quit the presidential race ran out of money i can't remember who it was it was somebody i didn't even never heard of richard o. somebody, huh? somebody probably tapped him on who, the who, shoulder Ch and said Ch charles you don't want to do this charles what'd you say it was richard ojeda who, oh, who, who suspended his campaign today really when did he start it last week he was the first person to announce he announced really? in december well, listen. I think it'd I, be a better choice for VP. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think I probably belt. should use this platform and this opportunity to announce my candidacy for president on the Democratic <laughs> Party. Yeah. Uh, might as well. Uh, might, might as well. Is. Exactly. Everybody else is. You know. Um, and and, and, and none, none of them. I, I don't think anybody who is announced can beat Trump. Um, I think Elizabeth Warren could. No, oh no, are you, oh, no. Are you kidding me? Well, no, in the water. So. No, she no, couldn't even sir. beat him with a tomahawk. No. Even Kamala Harris. That did you see her ad? It was like truth, freedom, democracy. I don't Americans. think Trump has a chance. These are words. I think people are fed up with Trump. I think. I, I the think the more people uh, I talk to, the more people who say I voted for him, I won't uh, again. I think. Two, I two think. Uh, I think the nomination. Time. The nomination yeah. has to go. To someone, I, I don't know. That could be Biden, or it could be Kamala Harris, or it, oh, whoever. Wait a minute. Kamala. Well, well oh. let me let me finish. I know Biden's too old. I agree with you, uh, but the, the point of the matter is is that uh, although you know something that's interesting, if if Biden runs for president, he'll be probably the same age Trump is, if I'm not mistaken, or close yeah, to it. Yeah, we, very close. Yeah. What the Democrats need is fresh blood. Well, what I'm saying, they need somebody who will take him to the woodshed, who won't put up with shit. Now, Biden won't put up with his shit. So we, we so he becomes a, a formidable candidate in that respect. <laughs> he already, he already Except in two them. years, he might not remember what the shit is. Well, well how about Trump? Trump? Trump's as old as he is. Yeah, Trump but, was the oldest president elected to a first term. Trump yeah. can't remember what he did last December. He can't remember what lie he told last December. Yeah, he just has to look at his Twitter feed. Yeah. He just don't care. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean... Uh, Keep telling him. The question of who, who the perfect uh, nominee is... I mean, the reason I say Camilla Harris is a good candidate is... A, a she's attractive. Uh, she's uh, she's uh, um, uh, uh, well-spoken, intelligent... Uh, and nobody knows who the fuck she is, uh, and that's the, the that was the advantage. That was the advantage Obama had. That was the advantage that Clinton had. 
But you know what my brother my brother and I were talking on the phone about this today and he said people are turned off to strong women and and so there's never going to be a woman president. No, well, I should never, but we're not ready for that yet because people are turned especially men are turned off to really powerful strong women. Like it's, he believes that's one of the main reasons why Hillary didn't get elected because men are just not ready for a strong you have to be very assertive, very strong and Lots of men are turned off to that. Well, you know, we could have said that about a black president, but we found one that somehow didn't feel threatening to the white population of this country. Uh, so that's, I'm, that's the thing. Yeah. Elizabeth Warren is very strident, whereas Kamala Harris, uh, I don't know, she comes off a little bit more humane. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think it's her look. It's her, uh, you know, she's very, very, like, stern looking she's a very uh, handsome woman it's no i'm talking best, about the uh, uh warren Liv oh, elizabeth, War, warren. elizabeth warren oh terrible she, she looks like a she has hat. uh good teeth and can pull a plow she is less <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> she is a le she is less attractive as a candidate than hillary she, okay the if there is like any her. such thing the camera doesn't like her. She doesn't photograph well. I, I, I remember all my days in television. Well, that's why I'm saying were, a Camilla Harris, a Kamala Harris, who nobody really knows from, okay, can go in with somewhat of a clean slate uh, because uh, she there's not enough mileage on her for them to, like, shove any stuff in her face. Uh, whereas, she still takes corporate PAC money. She, yeah. Yeah, well. I don't like that. Yeah, well, you know something? Just remember, she's a product of Willie Brown, and, and that's what you're going to get in Camilla Harris. Well, good. I'm terrific. Wonderful. I think that's terrific. Yeah, you just convinced me to vote for her. Willie Brown? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You, know, you love Willie Brown. I, I love Willie sure. Brown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want uh, Michael Bloomberg to run. Uh, no. No, yeah. you don't want Michael Bloomberg. Yes. We'll all be, we'll all be no drinking soda small for you. soda. <laughs> because he is a neutral, he he is like the most neutral. I, no, he's he not a Republican take, or Democrat. Yeah, but he, he can't get take he, away he, everything. He can't get elected Don't. because of one major reason: he's Jewish. Jewish. Mm. So uh, uh, now uh, he, here's the thing: I couldn't figure out uh, uh, to begin with. Uh, I love and adore Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I love her politics. I love her stridency. I love the way she doesn't take shit from anybody. And that's just in the first three weeks she's been a congresswoman, you know. And I can't figure out why Phil can't, doesn't like her because also I think she's hot. Well, she is hot. But, you know, the thing is she's, she's a, social, a communist. Uh, you know, she, not she's, communist. she's not it's a communist, Phil. A difference. Phil, yeah, Phil. Yeah, well, one degree. No, no, Phil, Phil she's, right. don't call so somebody supposed. a communist when they're not a communist. She's yeah. not a communist. Have you listened to what she says? Yes. What she wants? Absolutely. She's oh, a socialist. What, she's, what, she's, right up, her platform? she's right up my alley. All right. Well, she's definitely not up mine. Yeah. Well, you'd Although like to... she is hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is, like, just, this is how no. guys talk, you know. Yeah, I don't like her politics, by fucker. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that's politically incorrect. Send the Me Too people over my way. And I, I'll give you the address. It'll help the ratings. Yeah. You know, yeah. There, the, yeah. another guy that used to run for president that uh, was in the media was Pat Paulson. Uh, you know, yeah. look what it did for his career. Stephen <laughs> Gobert did once too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, hmm. very briefly, very briefly. Yeah, Howard Stern could until they Trump. until they just until he Governor found out he'd have to give up his TV show. Yeah, and Stephen Colbert yeah. was uh, exploring the idea of running for president until he found out that he'd have to give up his TV show. Right. Yeah. Wow. Right. Uh, and I wouldn't. Would and you? Alex wouldn't do it because he wouldn't give up Gabnet. No? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I, I mean, don't think he'd have to do that because Trump didn't have to give up his business. Mm. Yeah, but the media is something else. Yeah. yeah, you know the media is something else. You know most people that run uh, that are newscasters uh, uh, and and things like that they they have to they have to they separate get appointed themselves. by Trump to the UN. Yeah, yeah but well, is that still the case anymore? Because there's no more equal time 
rules in broadcasting. And one time, you, there should be. Yes, I agree with you. There should be equal time rules like there used to be. Right. Right. That's one thing I don't like about Bill Clinton is that he uh, he did away with that. Yep. Uh, oh, that, that was part of the 1996 Communications Act. Uh, wait a I thought minute. It was before that. Well, uh, what did, what did he what did he do? He did several things that uh, he he did away with the equal time provision. It, what, what, what it was? It was all part of a telecommunications act that included phone business, and and that's what he really wanted to sign it for. Not all the other stuff that was thrown in there, and part of that was the equal time provision. And uh, I think yeah, I, also I, I, I think it took the cap off of how many radio stations you could own. If I remember in the nineties, yeah, yeah. I, I, he I ruined think, uh, he ruined the radio business. I think Charles is right though. I think it was Reagan who changed the equal time. Right, rules. you're absolutely right, Fairness Charles. It was it that. was it was Clinton who made deregulated broadcasting basically. Right. Yeah, and then where you could only own a handful of stations at, at the time, now you could go out and, you know, clear How the many board. How stations of, in a market? 6 well, a.m. and 6 f.m. around the country. Right. That's it. Yeah. 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 No, but and, it's, six and, 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 six and, and 7 and, TV. And, uh, or a newspaper, it changed the, the flow of what you could own. No, if well, you, you owned, could, a, if you no, owned a newspaper, you could, own, you could, you could it, have it, have In less. a given market, no, in a given market, yeah. If you owned a newspaper, you could only have 7 AM, 7 FM, or uh, a radio station and a TV station, but you couldn't have all three. Yeah. So, you, owned so you had to divest yourself of the newspaper if you wanted all three, or you had to divest yourself of one of the... You'd see, I mean, that was how that worked. See, well, those, whoever, now with digital media, it doesn't matter. Right, and, and that's... See, that when you go back and you start looking at those rules and why they were in place, they made a lot of sense. Because now there's, it's too much. There's too In much. The hands of two. Well, well, what yeah. happened was when you bought, when you applied for a radio station with the Federal Communications Commission, one of the things you had to show is that you had the financial wherewithal to go three years without making a profit to keep a radio station going. These questions stopped getting asked, and that's why you have like. Uh, 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 iHeart Radio, which was formerly Clear Channel, which bought up 1,200 radio stations from coast to coast on the verge of bankruptcy because nobody asked those questions anymore. Because it became just about the business and yeah. not about the, 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 the public airway. And the rules existed because they didn't want anybody to have a monopoly in right. this kind of media. Uh, and so, therefore, you wouldn't have things like what's that t that TV outfit that uh, yeah. Sinclair. 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 You know, they like. they could never have existed in the old days. They could have, you know, they could have tried thank to dominate. Huh? Hey, thank, you, have Bill Clinton thank you, Bill Clinton. Thank you, Bill Clinton. Also, thank you, Bill Clinton, for NAFTA. You know, Bill which Clinton. One, yeah. Which one had the subliminal well, messages? Well, no, I'll take I take it I take uh, exception to Bill Clinton and NAFTA. Okay, uh, Alex. Okay, and I'll tell you Bush, why. Okay, Bush wanted it was that. brought up. It was brought up by George H. W. Bush, right. and yeah. the Congress that that was in control at that time when H. W. lost the presidency to Bill Clinton, mm -hmm. they passed it in both houses with veto-proof majorities. So Clinton didn't have a choice. He either had to sign it or he was going to have his veto over it. Okay, well, then I and, will defer and, to you. And during the election, that's when Perot ran against George H.W. Bush because he yes. was against NAFTA. And he talked about that giant sucking sound. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we didn't realize that also happened to be Ross Perot. But, you know. Yeah, well, uh, that's why I voted for him. Uh, you uh, voted for Perot? Oh, oh, God, Phil. You shouldn't be allowed to vote. Hey, you know, your, your business manager, I understand, voted for Perot. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so in this case, boss. I'll give Phil credit for voting as principal. I may not agree with him, and considering that he ran under the reform ticket, but uh, it's better than a two-party duopoly we've had for the last 40, 50, 60, 70 well, fucking years. Well, that, that, you know, but we're never going to break that. You know, that's just the way the system we're was We're never going to break that as long as we deceive and delude ourselves into believing that we won't. So oh, I like money first level Patty Hearst level uh, Stockholm syndrome bullshit psychological trickery. Oh, I don't think yeah, but well, I, I, I don't I, think I, Ross I, Perot. I, I don't think Ross I, Perot was a stand-up guy. Yeah, he sent his, he sent guys into Iran to get his people out when our government wouldn't do it. 
So, you know, he did what was what was uh, required. He did what was right. And and he succeeded at it. And uh, I think he's a hero. Who? I did not Ross know that. Ross Perot, Bree. Telling me that. I yeah, know. I mean, think of all the number of people. If, if Bloomberg or Kasich ran as a third party, they could siphon enough votes away from Trump to give the candidate uh, you know, for oh, the Democrats no. an advantage. Bl- Bloomberg, That's what Ross uh, Perot did. Ross yes, Perot but Bloomberg wouldn't elected. siphon... But Bree Bloomberg wouldn't siphon anything from uh, from Trump. He'd siphon from the Democrats. But Kasich could. Uh, I don't think so. I, I, don't, I think Kasich is wounded from the previous one. Well, he, no, he's thinking of running again, and he's thinking of running as a third party. I would vote for view. Kasich. I would vote for Kasich. I wouldn't. Not for Kasich. I would. Kasich's, I don't know Kasich's that... only mistake in the last election was he got in too late. I like Kasich. As a Republican, as far as Republicans go. Yeah. Well, you know, I, what I loved was if you go back and you look at that, and God knows, I mean, we talk about how many people are going to be running on the Democratic Party in these primaries, but think about how many people were running for president under the Republican ticket in those primaries. Let's hope 17. they do that. Let's hope they challenge well, well, him. Well, they well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This year. But what happened was these were seasoned political veterans who were completely gobsmacked and sideswiped by his demeanor and didn't know how to mm-hmm. handle it. I think you know, now yes. if somebody uh, comes right. along, they will know how to handle it. Absolutely. Because, Larry, you know, because wait a minute, because uh, 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 Nancy Pelosi has shown the way. Okay? No. Uh, uh, Larry Lessing, Lawrence Lessing, ran uh, on the Democratic ticket, mm-hmm. and he was not allowed to debate because the polls that he were he needed to have so many polls where he was above 1%. Right. And when he got that many polls, then they changed the rules so that he could not be on the dais. Yeah, yeah, you don't, un- you, yeah, you don't, you don't, polls. you don't understand the, 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 what they do. And, and, and to begin with the debates, let, let me, uh, wait a minute, let me, let me, let me no, you're not, you're not making the point because you're making no, the wrong I, point because you're, not because you're wrong. No, no, because what will happen is if you got 30, 40 candidates, how is any one of them going to get gonna enough let me, polling numbers? Let me inform you that to begin with, if I'm not mistaken, these debates, the early debates are usually held by various networks, okay? Yes, later on, the, let me finish. The, ne- the later debates are, I think, to this day still run by the League of Women Voters or somebody like that. And know. they always had a rule that if you didn't make it in the uh, top three or top two or a certain percentage, you then right. could go to the other debate with the kids at the, at the at the dinner at the you know the table in the other room who were having dinner. You know, you, you well, they had those they had the lesser candidates debate, and I thought that was always wrong because everybody should be allowed to debate debate everybody. But the but the Democrats didn't have a kids table in the last election. So what happened was they excluded Lessing because of that, and and the and what so what I'm saying is that because he was so low in those polls and not enough polls based on their rules, that means that they're going to uh, really narrow down uh, very quickly who the front runners are going to be on the Democratic side because it's so uh, it's so diluted that you're not going to have uh, uh, anyone probably or very few people reach the limit that they've set well, uh, uh, needed to the debate. The media will determine it. The media will determine. Yeah. Well, how come the media did the determine Lessing? Not that I supported him, but they you know, determined I, Trump. I have, I have, you know, they deter- they did. determined Trump. You're quite right, Bree. Yeah. You know. Uh, well, yeah, good for their bottom line. Yeah, still is. But, but Trump got enough numbers not to be at the kids' table. He was always in the center of the group. I th- wasn't there one point at which he was low enough that he almost wasn't going to be in the. Uh, uh, they moved him one over when uh, who was the black guy uh, that's in his cabinet now? Uh, Doctor Carson. Carson. Uh, yeah, Carson, Carson. For one reason or another, uh, increased and and moved Trump over one slot. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, still let's face waiting. It, Trump for, is but Trump right, let, is a let, Bree, let Bree let Bree talk. Bree, I, I'm still waiting for someone to come in who will be disruptive and will not be a politician. I'm I'm wondering if that can happen on the Democrat side. Like, would a Mark Cuban come in and say, "I'm I'm running as a Democrat"? We don't need that. 
we need people who are politicians. <laughs> We've already proven people who are not you in know, politics I'll, I'll, don't let, know how to let, run let government. Me, let me speak to the benefit of politicians for a second. That when you your plumbing goes bad, you go out and you hire a plumber. You don't hire some guy who's never fixed pipes before. And it, just like any other profession, being a politician is that kind of profession. They know how to fight the fight. They know where the bodies are buried. They know how, how you play the game. Uh, and they're professionals. And, uh, you know. We saw that the last couple and, of days. And what, we, what you're having with, with Trump, for instance, the guy's not a professional. And you, you'd like to think that that's, you know, that's always our great American dream, that Mr. Smith goes to Washington and the common man can suddenly become president of the United States. I got to tell you, once he gets there, he is so gobsmacked by everything that's happened to him, he doesn't know how to do it. I mean, you know, oh, the other problem with uh, running for president, if you're not a billionaire now, you can't afford it. What do you mean? Obama wasn't a billionaire. Well, he probably is close to one no, now. No, he wasn't when he uh, ran. Uh, uh, yeah, because he had and billionaires. And by the way, Clinton wasn't, like Cl Winfrey. Clinton wasn't a billionaire. And. Uh, 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 by the way, I'll also uh, uh, don't 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 start. No, you're, you're trying to you you made right a now. statement, Phil, and your statement was no. you have to be a billionaire to win, and the answer is no, you don't. Yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, you know, with what gets spent on these elections, and uh, uh, if you can't control it unless you have your own money, like you, how Trump much did. money? Of, how much do you think Trump spent of his own money on this campaign? I thought forty million. No. Uh, what did he spend? I don't think he spent hardly anything. I don't I think he had forty million, Phil. I think the biggest lie in America is that he was a billionaire. Well, it cost forty million to run his plane. The plane was being run by his company, yeah. which he held personally. He held personally. Yeah, yeah he had according, his company. According to Fortune. dot com, he spent sixty six million on his campaign. Oh, did he really? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Did he get that back after he won uh, from the RNC? I thought he did. No. Why would he get it back? He I it. think that's how. It could be know, a loan. Could have been a loan. Yeah. You know. I, I, I thought, you know, uh, if you win or if you get a certain percentage, uh, you get uh, you get money back from the uh, uh, for, towards the campaign. Remember, uh, Perot had 19 or 20 percent and therefore. Uh, he got money back, and Anderson had 12%, and he got money back. Do you want to know if yeah, you, but it, he made more money than anything else? If you run for president uh, in the primaries and then run for – if you run in the primaries, uh, the money you get for your campaign after it's over, you can keep. Yeah, but you only spend it on other political things. Uh, they changed that law. And so you can't no, use it personally. But, it, but at the you time gotta, that Al Sharpton ran for president, why do you think he ran for president? Yeah. For the uh, money. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, uh, maybe they don't do it th like that anymore, but they were doing it back then. And, yeah. uh, uh, you know. It, yeah, I think there's restrictions. You, you can either finance your own campaign or uh, put it into other campaigns, but you can't just okay. take so, it. So we have a whole breadth and width of America people here. Uh, uh, who would be the perfect candidate to go up against Trump in two years? I mean, of anybody. You could pick anybody. You could pick a movie star. You could pick a politician. You could pick uh, your nose. You know, what? what uh, who, who would you, who would pick? I'd pick Bloomberg. You'd Sorry. pick you pick Bloomberg. He's too weak. Yep. You think he's uh, weak? New York. Well, um, I you think he's weak? I mean, he became mayor of this town three times. Right. Yeah. Look at he, because he's a he's a Democrat. No, uh, he happened to be when he first he ran. If I remember network. correctly, he was a Republican. He was governor yeah, when he first started out. And then but, he then he know, was then he was a Democrat. Yeah. And then he was an independent. independent. Well, Sorry, what like you Trump. had for mayors? You got Dinkins. Uh, no, wait a minute, Phil. Twice. Phil, what about ism? Is uh, don't don't change <clears throat> yeah, the but, subject. You know, anybody you're, can get you're elected changing, as mayor. You're changing. You're changing. Wait, no, not anybody can get elected mayor. Yeah, they would have elected Weiner if he didn't sh uh, screw up a second time. Well, 
Wiener you know, would have been a good bet. I think he's still a good bet. The only thing is he can't keep his penis out of tweets. Yeah. Well, maybe he should run. I mean, when you think about it, he was a, he was more principled than Trump. You know. Uh, Come on, uh, Phil. Come on, Phil. When are you going to give up the ghost on this fucking deal with Trump? Come on. Hey, how often? How often does he? End. How often does he have to cave in? You know, how often does he have to have uh, I, one of his close I, friends arrested? You this know? is a learning experience, this cave issue. And I don't think he's going to go Neanderthal anytime soon again. You know, this is the last cave he's entering. And I, I, mm-hmm. yeah. he'd be nuts to close the government, shut the government down again. No, so I don't he think realize, he yeah, Romney he, might run he, against he Trump. Romney, we talked, Romney. We haven't talked about we haven't talked about the latest scandal that happened this week either, Alex, and that is these security clearances. Oh yeah, that have been issued in the White House right. for, mm-hmm. to people who did not qualify. They had they had uh, FBI background checks, and the security people in the White House, the professionals, said no, we shouldn't give a security clearance to this guy. And they got overridden by a supervisor who was brought in specifically to get the backlog taken care of. And, and we're, talk, we're, talking about, we're talking about Jared Kushner, for Jared instance. Jared Kushner. Yeah. yeah. He's one of 30. And Over I, 30 and, people and in the I White think, House I think he, who he, got clearance. Yeah, Ivanka, I believe, is another one that got clearance that shouldn't have gotten clearance. Uh, Wasn't there a guy that I think know, Trump is one news. of them, possibly. <laughs> there was a communications yeah, Rob guy. No, yeah, Rob, Rob Porter, Porter. Yeah, President's it. secretary. Yeah. If, a, if a Democrat had done that, if Obama had done that, oh, my God. Yeah, well, he had Farrakhan. What? His, uh, his advisor. Uh, Did that, he get, other, that preacher, White. Were they were they were they getting security clearances against the FBI's no, recommendation? No, they were sleeping no. in the Lincoln. They were all sleeping in the Lincoln bedroom. Who gives a crap it's got where they to do with sleep. the security clearance. Yeah. No. You're making excuses, Phil. There's a lot of shit going on that you're just excusing because of the cult that you're in. Well, we we don't know. You see, I always believe that people are innocent until proven guilty. All these are, are accusations. No, no, no. no. This is the FBI background check, Phil. Yeah, this the, is not uh, just an accusation. Sure, this that's is, the we FBI. Don't believe, in finding we don't believe dirt. the FBI. That's anymore. the FBI that uh, uh, that got the dos- dossier from Bruce uh, or and Nellie Orr and uh, and uh, and the FISA uh, mm-hmm. warrants. Well, contrary against- to what Fox News said, Phil. The the, uh, the, uh, the the FISA warrants were not issued because of the dossier. According to according to according the to news Fox that News, I it were according yeah. to Fox News, it was, but that's well, not true. It's because they're the only ones telling the truth. No. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, you think CNN? You know, you guys won't listen to anything else but uh, the, the dribble that you get from CNN and MSNBC. I listen MSNBC. to Fox News every once NABC, in a while until it turns my stomach, and I I want to go to the bathroom and throw up. Well, I do the same thing with CNN and CBS. CBS. Yeah. What cha- what ca- cable channel do they have? Uh, I have CBS Live. Uh, you know the, uh, that's pay, the, the no, pay. that's internet. And uh, well, that's all I have is internet. And I have uh, C- CBSN. What I think is funny is when Hannity will interview Levin, Mark Levin, and it's like, you know, media interviewing media, you know, and then and then pretending that that's some kind of expert. Mark Levin, but he's a pundit. Yeah, he's a media dude. He yeah. has a radio show, so it's like ra- the radio, TVs interviewing each other as if that's. Well, that's that's Somehow. like uh, Glenn Beck. I mean, Mark Levin, Glenn Beck. Uh, you know, they're all very similar. I don't think that they're going to. By you an the way, unbiased... by the way, Glenn Beck. Uh, and I have, every now and then, I would watch his channel here because he had the blaze on our FiOS cable system. FiOS has dropped him all over the country. Did yeah. they drop Dr. Gene Scott? Yeah, you know, because <laughs> Glenn Beck and Dr. No, Gene Scott. Nobody even a, knows who you're talking about, Phil. What do you mean, no, no, uh, Glenn Beck? I'll tell you something. I watch Glenn Beck. Uh, I don't agree with him, and he's full of shit. But boy, he's good at uh, at the parsing a a, 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 a a he's a, on serious. Huh? Is, is, uh, I know I, they've got Blaze on serious. Yeah. Uh, uh, he used to do that thing with the chalkboard, just like Gene Scott. You know, and he oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah he had his whole thing. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, he. Uh, 
you know, I watch him because I, I consider him good at what he does. I don't agree with what he does, but he's good at what he does. But they've canceled him all over the country on Fios, so you can't get him on any Verizon channels anymore. So I never did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I didn't have that to watch anymore. And then I'll go over to Fox every now and then. But it's so difficult to watch them. I agree with you, Vernon. You know, it's like you watch Fox for 10 minutes and you got to go take a shower. You know, yeah. you feel filthy. You know, it's the other way around for me. It's like, geez, you know, I watch these other ones and you, you just get tired of the smirks. Oh, and look, no, uh, no. I'm just, Phil, and, Phil, Phil, I'm the first one to agree with you. I'm tired of MSNBC and being so partisan that. You know, there, it, there, there's just no reliability in them as a news source. You know, that anytime I tune in there, I know they're going to be complaining about Trump or about yeah. something Trump did. Or Sounds about like Gab Bet. <laughs> well, no, I mean, all I'm saying is, is that they have a they have a one trick pony over there. I think uh, CNN's a little bit better in that respect because they're a little less partisan but they are anti-Trump because yeah. Trump is anti-CNN. <laughs> right. You know, they didn't like the fact that, uh, that Trump made the lives of their reporters a little more dangerous, that he put them in harm's way because of his rhetoric. Well, you know, that's a reporter's job. You know, you, you No, it's not a reporter's job to have the president situation. of the United States what? saying that you should all be fucking shot and arrested and you're all fake news and you're this and you're that. No, well, you don't. You, you don't. You don't. You don't put the reporters when you point at reporters and say those are the people you should get. When you in a rally, you do that. You're putting them in harm's way, Phil, and that's wrong. Did any of them get attacked? Yes. How about bomb scares and bombs yeah. being sent to CNN and other? That was a crazy person. Well, who was he supporting? You see his truck. Did you see his truck with all the Trump paraphernalia? Come on, on it? Phil, you're you're more intelligent than that. You know, if that was a <laughs> what? Did you say yes or no, Phil? Well, I, 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 I said it was a nice truck. <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder if he wants to sell it. Oh yeah, it had nothing but, but you know. Uh, yeah, you know, it, 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 there was crazies that came out against Obama, and there was crazies that came out against Bush, and they used to burn Bush in effigy. And, and uh, did they? And when, they, when, they when, when did you ever see Bush burned in effigy? Uh, they they used to uh, have a noose with a bush uh, thing, and they burn it. And did they send the bombs around in the mail? I'll show you more of mine. Well, they sure. weren't real bombs. What were you saying, Bree? They were roads. What were you saying, Bree? No, I didn't say anything. Oh, somebody said something. Who? Uh, 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 Rob. Yeah. He said uh, that they send bombs bombs around. Oh, I know that. Uh, no, they didn't. No, I mean, I think that 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 uh, Trump has uh, has given a sense of permission to people to attack reporters. He did that at all of his rallies. I mean, he was going, those are the people back there. Those are the people you should get. <laughs> well, those did you see the, the people he that did. were outside the Antifada and all of those other Oh, uh, gee, uh, what about ism? What about ism? What about, oh, what well, about, hey, what about, what attacked. about? Let him, you know, he's defending himself. How he's many vote that that was what about ism, folks? Just raise Maybe. your hand. Yeah. yeah. Well, Matt, I think that, CNN yeah. is getting behind Kamala Harris. I think they've determined that's going to be the one they're going to support. I don't well, know that that's necessarily the case, Bree. I mean, I, early. I I think why is she getting a town hall? If it's too if, early, if they burn out. She's uh, getting a town hall because I think she is a very attractive candidate, and they can get some ratings out of it. Okay, <clears throat> I think that's precisely why they're going to chew her up and spit her out. Uh, because if you get in, if you got into the race this early and and you peak, uh, then the only place you can go is down, and I think that's what's going to happen to her and uh, any other strong Trump candidate that peaked, Trump peaked peak, early. Tr Trump peaked early. Mm. Uh, no, he got uh, he, he didn't get in. Uh, yeah, yes, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it was only like three months or four months. Uh, how many months? Uh, was the uh, campaign going on where they started having the debates and so forth? Oh, they were they were doing the debates well before the first of the year. I think uh, those debates were starting to happen. Yes, Vernon. So this is two years. Vernon. 
I like Jay Inslee, the governor of Washington State. I mean, you look at the economy that uh, he's produced up in that state. He's raised the minimum wage to $15 an hour. And instead of losing jobs like the Republicans would like to think, make you think raising the minimum wage would lose jobs, it's actually grown jobs in the state of Washington. Uh, I think I know who you're talking about. I think I know Jay the situation. Yeah. He, hasn't, he hasn't said he's going to run yet, but he's exploring the idea. Well, you know, um, uh, everybody is. Everybody is. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's going to be a rather large field, which I think is going to start getting pared down pretty damn fast because some of them are reasonably going to look uh, at the crowd that they're uh, with, in the middle of and go, I, I, can't, I can't win this. Um, Charles, anybody appeal to you? No, I mean... I told you who I like is Elizabeth Warren, but y'all don't think she, she's a good candidate. So well, I think, she, uh, you know, whatever you think about her politically or whatever, that's fine. But the fact is, I don't think she can win. I just she shot herself think. in the foot with the uh, with the DNA test. Well, not, it wasn't well, so that, much that it was just she, her her general her general handling of things is just a little too strident. And it's not. The kind, you know, when we when we're talking about somebody, look look who won the last election, a TV reality star, right. and barely a TV reality star, not one of the success really successful yeah. ones, um, but he won. That's you know, this is a, uh, uh, a a race that is dictated by the uh, the the media of the times. And if you can't look good on television, sound good on television, yeah. and play to that television camera, and use the social media, and all of that, you haven't got a chance. Now, can you imagine Curating. Elizabeth Warren using social media? Yeah, curating. Curating matters. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it used to be, I often used to say it's the, it's the media of the time that dictate <clears throat> who can be the most popular candidate. And mm -hmm. when it was... Uh, when they were, uh, you know, in the early days, when they would go from town to town on trains, it was whoever looked best from the back of a train. Uh, then when it came to radio, it came to who sounded best on radio. I submit FDR, okay, mm -hmm. who, who nobody really saw that much, but they certainly heard him, and that voice was really <laughs> cut through the radio. Yeah. And when it came to, then when TV came in, who got elected? JFK, okay? Yeah. Yeah. He was made for television, and so what we've each media uh, each a time is dictated by the media in which people use it as, well, as the as the circus. Except Howard Howard Dean didn't win when the internet came in. Well, Howard he Dean lost because he he became Howard, a meme. You know what Howard? A, no, you know what Howard Dean? Why Howard Dean lost? If you think about he it, he screamed at a rally. No, no, don't forget about that screaming. It, the screaming was bad enough, but that was all because the only mic on was his microphone. If you had heard the crowd going, yeah, yeah. But that's th what did it. Then, then it wouldn't sound so bad, you know. And it became a meme. It became a meme because all, the, all you could hear was him shouting into the microphone. Did, didn't he run against uh, George H.W. Bush? No. Uh, jo jo no who, did, who did Howard Dean? He uh, didn't uh, run for president. Uh, oh, he, he was... He was um, uh, number one in the polls for the uh, Democrats for a while, but, and then who? For a while, who, a while. Who got the nomination that street. year? You know, yeah. uh, somebody who lost, I think, got the nomination that year. Uh, we always forget about who the losers were. McGovern, the M <laughs> McGovern, uh, yeah, McGovern, Hubert Humphrey, uh, yeah. Stevenson, Stevenson, yeah, yeah, and, and Stevenson, Stevenson, you got to give him credit. Stevenson, this goes back to... Uh, My mother voted for Stevenson. This goes back to when Eisenhower was did. running. Stevenson lost to Eisenhower, oh. right? <laughs> and then he got nominated again yeah. and lost again oh, yeah. <laughs> to Eisenhower, by, who by that time had, had had two heart attacks or something, you know, but he still couldn't beat him. You know, so... Uh, Dean, Dean, Dean tried to, to become the nominee in 2004, but he was beat out by John Kerry. Okay. Who was another bad idea. You know, there, he, again, you know, you have to uh, 
think about do we have an appealing candidate? Now, you know, like Trump is not an appealing candidate, but what Trump is that appeals and, and cuts through all the clatter is that he's a cartoon and that he can be parodied and he can be made fun of and all of that. That was Obama. Uh, 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 Obama, no. Obama no, didn't make a very good make cartoon. Fun of Obama. That, no, the but... ears, and that was about it. But with, with Trump, you got everything from fat face to fat body to fat hands to little penis to mushroom dick. Yes, Jeff. I, I don't face, yellow hair. like Trump because, because of the hate factor. You think the hate factor cut through? Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of people like Trump because they don't like whatever. Yeah. yeah. They don't like black people. They don't like Mexican people. They don't like they don't like uh, people who are uh, poor. They don't like people who are too rich, not not rich. You know, it's yeah. it's anybody who they don't like. Right, right. Trump was their favorite. Yeah, yeah. Because what Trump would basically say is "fuck you" to everybody. Yeah, but I mean, really what, what we've got that, is that was their biggest advantage. So uh, yes, it was like we won't listen to the. Regular people, right? We'll 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 talk directly to you guys, Brian. Brian, Brian, you gotta open your mic, Brian. Maybe he's muted. Well, Trump shook things up. Yeah. 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 Yes, Brian. Hold on. There you go. Okay, we can hear hear me. Yeah. 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 I was just gonna say to Jeff. as a talk, I think it was Avi Ravenhoff on the occasions that that I, that I vaguely recall who said this, and he was right about this, when he said that the reason why Trump was appealing to so many people on the right who ordinarily wouldn't vote on the right was that it was okay. I will give you your racism, but I'll also give you your economic protectionist res- rhetoric as well. Yeah, yeah. Um. But, uh, well, the other part that we have to remember is is uh, Mrs. Clinton. She wasn't likable. She was the worst. She was the worst candidate you could possibly. Uh, yep, I couldn't stand her. None you of us liked her. her. You know, and and I know that oh, people are going to say, well, you know, no he, choice. She really screwed Bernie out of the nomination, but he would have lost big time too. I don't know about that. I don't think so. I highly doubt that. Really? You have Trump supporters who said they would have voted for Bernie Sanders instead. I disagree vehemently with you on that. I would have voted for Bernie. Sanders Cortez? Huh? Bernie Sanders Cortez? Uh, You know, he Uh, is uh, in the same school as uh, Casio Cortez. And uh, Bernie Sanders didn't have a chance. Bernie Sanders says he's a socialist. Well, you know, I'll tell you. I, I think that if things get bad enough in this country financially, and they are getting there, believe it or not, no matter what you say, I mean, the stock market is shitty, and uh, uh, people are, have jobs, but they're less than they've been paid before. If things get bad enough, it's going to happen. What happened in the, uh, right after the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Depression, uh, a lot of people started thinking about being communists. Because this was an answer to socialism, that socialism didn't seem to be working. In fact, I'll be the first one to say here that I don't think socialism is working. You know, because it is, if you have something like uh, socialism to the extreme, uh, to the exclusion of everything else is bad, and uh, capitalism to the exclusion of everything else is bad, what you need is is a... uh, uh, a healthy dose of both. You, uh, you know, a good example. That's China, what we have. China? No, we don't. No, we sure. don't. You keep telling me the police department is social. The, the, the fire I, department. I, no, I'm saying when you don't like socialism, you 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 know you you got to realize the police department is socialistic because we're pooling our resources to have a police that, department. Nothing can ever be and black also or white. You can't be that black or white. Well, all I mean, I'm saying, always... all I'm saying is, we don't have enough social programs to take care of the people, and you know, when somebody's sick, they should have at their disposal the best possible medical care that you can and dental, you can, and dental <laughs> that you can yeah. have. Yes. Well, that hey, you there's can always have. half off dental in Dubai. I'm yeah. running on but, universal but, you know, I dental mean, care. Uh, yeah. I I don't I don't think one person in America should die because of lack of proper health care. 
uh, and right. they're dying every day because of lack of yeah. proper health care. People are not going to doctors and getting checkups because they can't afford to, uh, you know, and uh, uh, no, Phil, there aren't programs for that. Either you have the money to get the, uh, the checkup or you don't have the money to get the checkup, you know, and... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, th th this is why we need a healthy dose of socialism in this country, uh, and and to take care of the. Th AOC those says billionaires uh, in a society is uh, immoral. You know what I heard the other day? You want this statistic? This one will really get you. Twenty six. That's people. it. Give them give them the statistic, Bree. Yeah, they have. Uh, yeah, everybody saw of the that. No, twenty percent of the wealth, Phil. 99% of the wealth that the other 50% have. Well, the 50 now there's uh, Bezos' wife is going to join them. Uh, you know, look, that, again, half. what about ism? It has nothing to do with the discussion. Well, that means there'll be 23. No, all I'm saying is... Yeah, but Bill is, Gates still waits in line for a burger. It's 26, 26 people have the money uh, that the bottom 50% of the world have. And one of them is Dell, and he was in a panel recently where he questioned AOC's 70% tax. He said, name a country where that has worked. And the MIT professor immediately said, America. The yes, US. the United States mm -hmm. back in the 50s. Uh, it was mm -hmm. actually 90% back in the 50s. Nobody paid that because they had, you could write off everything. I remember my father bought a boat because you could write it off. Uh, back yes, you 60s. could write it off, but I'm saying that if you made over a hundred, uh, over a million dollars, you paid ninety percent tax. Now you could start uh, knocking things off and things like that, but the and fact you was, knocked it down quite a bit. Yeah, but but you know that uh, I do believe that we you know we should tax the uh, the rich. I absolutely believe in that. They're benefiting the most from this country. Elizabeth Warren says she well, wants to do it. In the, in the Gabnet store, you should start selling pitchforks and uh, torches. Oh, we, uh, we, we, we have It will come there. to that if need be. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know how much it's going to take for a compliant America to suddenly rise up and say we're not going to put up with this shit any longer. Well, like I said, Alex, earlier, when we finally overcome our uh, Patty Hearst uh, level of, uh, of like codependence, abused relationship uh, bullshit, um, Stockholm Syndrome bullshit, yeah, then maybe it will come to that finally. We kind of are living in a country where we have a Stockholm Syndrome. You know, the the country treats you like shit, and then you go, give me some more. If you if anybody watched Bill Maher's show last week, um, his last, uh, you know how he always does that little speech yeah. after New Rules? Yeah. yeah. It was fantastic. It was all about how Americans have become, how the middle class has gone, how he compared it to the airlines, how you used to have a nice big wide seat with plenty of leg room. And they find and they, and you got great food. And then they took away a little. It goes. You never do it all at once. But they take it away a little at a time and a little more. And you get comfortable with it. And they take away a little bit more until you know. And it was it was a great a great final speech. I was like, I, I, I you know. Yeah, I I remember, I remember so listening true. to it and saying it was pretty damn good. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. I just read something that said that these planes, they're getting the seats are getting smaller and smaller, but they're running, uh, uh, they're not running at capacity anymore. That there's a lot of open seats on on these planes that have such high uh, capacity. I haven't and, heard that. Yeah, because well, uh, uh, and the article I read, yeah, the article I read showed all the open seats on different. Uh, Speaking of which, a lot of flights. the airports are closing down now, or they're reducing flights because of the government shutdown. Oh, that, that's called well, the that's ground. Over, and that's uh, over. Yeah, it's over, but it was called the ground. Yeah. 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 Anyway, anyway, that uh, that kind of wraps it up for tonight. Uh, what have we okay. learned tonight? That uh, that uh, Trump is in the business of spelunking now. So uh, it's good. He's uh, he's caving. Uh, uh, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, Rob, I agree with you. Thumbs up on that one. Uh, Charles Wallace, always a pleasure. It's so nice that we have you have you here again, and uh, we uh, we hope we'll have you more and more, just like we have been all along. Uh, Brian, uh, we'll probably see you over on the next show, right? Jack yes. Bishop's uh, intersection, and right. uh, Bree, always nice having you here. Uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, I know it's a little early, so you don't like to show a picture of yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm still waking up. 
still waking up. <laughs> and it, it's a Saturday. Yeah. Phil Meyer, thank you once again for giving us no Ajuda. problem. Just build the wall. And uh, 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 <laughs> Vernon, uh, thank you so much. Uh, do you want to say goodbye in your normal way? Uh, there we go. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye to the folks out there. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, that's our uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight. Let me just say goodbye to them here so that I can make room for the next show to use our Skype lines. Uh, that would be Jack Bishop in the intersection. Uh, we're off until, uh, what, uh, Tuesday at uh, 9.30. It got uh, the exchange uh, with, uh, with uh, Damian Chaplin. And then, of course, at uh, uh, 10 o'clock right here at GabNet. Uh, same time, same station in life. 10 o'clock. And if you see her, you know, tell her I love her, okay? I really do. <laughs>